So you have um, a healing connection. So this is opening up your heart chakra to allow you to heal from something. Um, it's also a sense of planning for something. Uh, the, and then the gift of creative creativity so awakening new aspects of yourself perhaps following those intuition uh creative things that come forth for you and um honopono so this is about um feeling and healing and understanding yourself um you know doing work for yourself on yourself and then honoring cycles. So this is about your root chakra. This is really about uh, opening up those chakras and just really clearing them so that you can have the feeling and sensations and creativity come in. So maybe this is something you're working on. The bottom of the, the deck is the gift connection. Um, and so maybe you're working on meeting that other half or coming together with that other half. Uh, and then let's see, at the top of the deck is Celebrate Life. So really taking everything in, soaking it in, no matter what's going on. So welcome, guys. I hope you're doing well. I do appreciate you liking, sharing, and subscribing. And leave me your comments. I do appreciate them. I hope you guys had a beautiful New Year's Day. And uh, continuing with some positivity and, and perhaps learning how to... Um, really focus on you and creating good things for you that's what it feels like so what is the healing healing connection are you healing a connection now that i look at the card and spend time with it um that's interesting maybe this is twin flame maybe this is soulmate maybe this is you choosing uh to something is it something that you know you've been going back and forth on um could be two jobs too many things going on uh follow this follow that it's it's like there's options here um but we are talking about a connection so are you perhaps maybe choosing to let go of something that's not working to maybe focus on the other meaning people or even um business you know so take it as it resonates for you <coughs> excuse me Two of Pentacles, please. What is the Two of Pentacles? Maybe you're healing something so that you can feel love. And the throat chakra is a little funny. Sorry, guys. King of Wands. So, King of Wands is looking to maybe um, choose something. Uh, I did feel like with this card, there's a sense of planning. Are, are you planning something? You're planning to let go of, of the heavy stuff? Um, maybe learning to balance something? King of Wands is very fiery. They're very um, fiery in the sense of taking actions and following those leads. And just really, if you're, if you're letting go of the struggle, as far as financially, it's the person who maybe wants to work for their own, on their own, like entrepreneur or um, maybe build. I hear like build great things. Like, um, so maybe this is something that you're opting out, like to to let go of something that um, maybe you've been juggling with, you know, an idea or, um, you know, letting go of something. What is the King of Wands here? The King of Wands. Too many, please. Too many. King of Wands. King of Wands. Okay. Um, okay, so really learning. I feel like whatever it is that you have had with the Two of Pentacles, that that uh, juggling kind of feeling, it's really taught you lessons. I feel that maybe this is what has taught the King of Wands to perhaps create some kind of balance within themselves, because this is this is somebody taking themselves in, into maybe something that was unstable someone who's taking themselves to something stable with the king of pentacles right here so i feel like the king of pentacles brings you that offer maybe a new offer a new partnership offer maybe a new um you know promotion or maybe even you going out towards that new thing that you want to try uh it brings you stability it brings you growth um it's longevity 
uh, like uh, lasting a long time. Okay. There's a sense of even having clarity about which direction you want to go. Uh, because starting with the Two of Pentacles, maybe in the past you weren't sure. You know, maybe you were trying to juggle so many different things and get things to work right, but they haven't quite worked out right. So I do feel like this is a healing connection um, as far as, you know, keeping the faith up for yourself, um, opening up your heart chakra so that you can you can have the clarity to to allow you to move in the direction that you're wanting to move. Um, I want to know, OK, this one started to come out. So three of Pentacles starting to build a stronger foundation, which is beautiful. I want to know what the, the, the King of Pentacles, what is, okay, so maybe travel, I was going to say what's coming in, a new cycle, traveling, uh, a chance for you to really start with those new ideas. Um, there is a sense of ending something. So I think with the King of Pentacles, it's brought you some kind of knowledge to be able to let go of that Two of Pentacles. The bottom of the deck is that star connection. So maybe this is something, if it is dealing with two people, as far as a connection that might have been broken in the past, I feel with the world right here, it's coming out, um, meaning look for it, wait for it. Something's coming um, soon, uh, moving towards travel, new cycle. Give me one more for the Two of Pentacles. What is it that they're choosing? So the King of... Queen of Pentacles, um, sideways. I feel like this is maybe, is materialism going out? Um, is someone who's been very, maybe on you, um, to do things their way, not so much your way? This one as well, okay. The Page of Pentacles. Have you decided to give uh, some sort of message to this Queen of Pentacles? What is the Queen of Pentacles? Okay, well, I didn't see this one. A judgment. So the message is maybe giving a second chance to this Queen of Pentacles. What is the Queen of Pentacles, please? Besides the Page of Pentacles. Okay, the Devil. So I do feel like there was a sense of you maybe not seeing something correctly with the Devil there. Um, you got the Justice at the bottom. Is this something, some kind of uh, karma that's been sort of played out for you? And it's balancing out for you now. Uh, the, with the devil energy here, this could have been that you're releasing somebody toxic, okay? Um, it really giving you a sense of a second chance. And maybe really where you have somebody on the other side of it is with the devil and the queen of pentacles, it could be somebody that you just feel so much attachment to. Because we are clarifying the healing connection. I feel that there is a healing connection there. Meaning a connection with a person. Um that maybe you've had some kind of um, unstableness with, I feel you're healing it, okay? Um, I also do feel with the judgment card, it's something that you had to release. So did you have to release something very toxic so that you can go towards the new, okay? Um, so very interesting. I wanna know what is the devil? What is the devil, please? The devil. So five of pentacles, five of pentacles and the, the two of cups so you've been without your person you definitely want victory and success with this person i think that you still hold on love for this person um and i think that you're lost without them but with the two of cups and definitely the two of pentacles i do see somebody maybe coming back to maybe heal a connection maybe give a second chance with the judgment revitalize regenerate um so yeah, whoever this is for you, whether this is you making that choice to step up, step up and, and take action and maybe give an offering or um, just a sense of being stable enough on the inside for you to make that that offer. I feel like that's what's happening, especially with the world. Um, so this definitely could be a, a twin flame healing, um, a connection. A twin flame connection healing. And I don't know why I feel, I feel like I can't speak. Like my senses, sentences are not coming out correctly. I'm sorry. Um, almost like I have butterfingers, you know, that jittery kind of feeling in your stomach. So is this anxiousness or excite, some kind of ex excitement for this new, this new beginning? Because it is regenerated. It is a second chance. It's, it's almost like the phoenix rising from the ashes. And you've been at loss without this person, I feel, with the Five of Cups. Um, 
<clears throat> what is the gift of creativity? I think you're allowing yourself to see the light. I think that you're allowing yourself to not stay in the, the that flip side of being unstable and uncertain and um, not feeling good enough about yourself to maybe have this kind of relationship. I think that you're seeing that, oh my God, I can actually dig myself out of this. I can create a new, a new way, okay? Because look, there's that Eight of Cups at the bottom. Um, at the top is the Three of Swords. So maybe you're walking away from sorrow, depression, loneliness, sadness, maybe a third party situation. Let's see what these are. Um, so the the Knight of Wands and the Six of Pentacles, I think for some of you, this is somebody who's giving up the playboy kind of um, life, meaning someone who, who stepped out a lot, someone who l was led by maybe, you know, uh, like womanizing or, you know, something like that, um, giving yourself. It's also someone who's giving themselves to someone who doesn't reciprocate, you know. Um, I think that because these two are in reverse, there is a sense of maybe realizing, okay, maybe I don't want to play the field all, you know, with multiple people. Um, and I feel like this is what whoever this is, this King of Wands is walking away from that. Uh, I think that they've been giving in to too much of to something um, that hasn't really quite been balanced definitely with the eight of cups at the bottom so in other words if you've had somebody in your life that was just maybe a player or um you know just a person who just dates a lot of different people they may have a different change of mind and maybe this is a third party situation you know um maybe choosing the better one of the two knight of wands in reverse because the knight of wands is that card of the masculine you know they're they're sort of um you know uh, sensual parts and stuff that drive them and give a lot of offers so maybe they're holding back on their offer uh, meaning they're not everywhere you know so knight of wands in reverse knight of wands in reverse the eight of wands changing something changing um, and then you have the strength card the king of swords and the king of pentacles it's making you a better person Whatever this life lesson has been for you, it's sort of puts you straight um, with some kind of truth. And it's really building you to be like the King of Pentacles, very um, able to, um, you know, withhold a lot, meaning, um, you know, a lot of pressure. I think stability, I think with your money flow, you're able to st stabilize yourself. <clears throat> and we have the queen of swords here excuse me guys we have the queen of swords here with the strength card this could be your counterpart that straightened you out that's how i see it because we see the two masculines here the king of pentacles and the king of wands i think that your divine masculine is taking charge but i think the thing that made him either him or her either wake up and um somehow come to this conclusion of oh my god there's truth there's something true here maybe with the connection what is the strength card what's the strength card maybe this is somebody who at one point wasn't making taking action towards you you know um night I want to know the strength card, please. The strength card. What is the strength card? So a new beginning. Enough courage to take that leap. Having the clarity also and the action, the motion to, to do it. What is the Queen of Swords? What's the Queen of Swords, please? Okay, so this is the person. Maybe somebody helped you. Um, maybe this is just you working your way to thinking level-headed, clear, truthful. Um, maybe you're leaving a, a deceit, you know, with the devil and the princess of pentacles. I did get that maybe ending some kind of um, materialistic kind of value or ways of thinking. What is the six of pentacles? This one right here, six of pentacles in reverse. So the lovers see making that choice on the person that balances you out. Whoever this is. They've put into the wrong situation, the wrong partnership, the wrong business, whatever their their cycle is, whether it's a karmic partner or just a karmic 
situations, you know, just things that keep happening that were bad. And they put a lot of energy into it. But yet, I think that they've realized I'm putting too much into that stuff and it's not doing anything for me. There is a sense of... Um, choosing choosing the happiness that you des deserve and you don't have to do it sneakily uh you could do it honestly you don't have to maybe go out I, I feel like also where i'm getting with this is i feel that this person might be um maybe tied down to someone else that they weren't quite interested in because there wasn't a balanced kind of feeling or maybe the love died out or whatever you know life happens um but they stepped out because I got this with the Knight of Wands. This person might have been a person who stepped out of their marriage. They weren't quite happy. And that's why they keep stepping out. But I think that the realization is, is during that stepping out, they met a Queen of Swords, a person who is true, who is true love, who who gives them the courage and the strength to move forward. And isn't doesn't that just sound like a twin flame? So... I think that this person is now creating this sense of healing um, within themselves because this card is about the sacral chakra. So if your sacral chakra is 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 blocked, then you're numb to these feelings and you don't feel them. So I definitely do feel like this is somebody who's being guided by God uh, to perhaps choose that happiness that they can so much um, have and grasp. Uh, really having longevity as well with the Knight of Pentacles. Um, I do feel like this is the person who's working at it. And I do feel like there's been some kind of truth brought to them that is jarring them into some sort of, um, some kind of sense, you know? Um, maybe common sense is waking up with this person. For a long time, they were going at it the wrong way is what it feels like. But maybe you're going to have communication with the aid of wands you know some kind of healing communication of a new beginning okay um and something stable so even if it's not love for you guys if it's business because i do see a lot of pentacles it's like you're gonna have the opportunity to start over again something you think you lost with the five of pentacles that's right here uh, and you can't see it but i'll show you it's this one right here um you lost something but it, in a sense it's going to be able to come back and flourish but it's a choice. Do you, do you choose to stay in the past in toxic things or do you move yourself out of that and go forward? Um, I do feel like that is a choice and it's a creative. And, and this is what's waking up in this King of Wands. Definitely. Um, I want to know the Hopeful Pono, which I probably, probably messed up her, her name. But, you know, because, you know, I can read cards better than reading. But... Let's see, it says, I'm looking at the little reading down here. I haven't really looked at these cards. You guys know they're new. So um, it says, kiss, kiss it better, baby. Kiss it better, baby. Because I don't know the meaning of hopo, pono, ono. Maybe you guys knew, know what that means. But um, some have said I am just all butterflies and flowers. Good, I say. They're pretty gentle kind care loving so you're manifesting all this you're manifesting this kind of happiness i feel um so four of pentacles uh, holding on um don't hold on too tightly in other words let things manifest naturally if you're holding on to the pentacle because you don't have enough it actually will give you less pentacles less money so it's almost like you have to believe in what it is that you're trying to manifest um, and don't hold on too tightly, meaning you sort of got to let go a little bit. If you're talking about love and you're not talking about money, it could be where, you know, if you love this person, you set them free and if they come back to you, it's meant to be. So in, in other words, it's almost like telling you have confidence. That's what it's telling me. I don't know. Like I said, I don't know who Hopopono is, but um, maybe somebody somebody can tell me. Um, four of pentacles, four of pentacles. So the emperor, take control. Okay, get out of the despair and move forward. Uh, so this is the block, the hindrance that um, even though this person is creating this, maybe in dreams, in, in daydreams, um, you know, to have this new beginning, there's a sense of not believing in themselves. And the, the card is telling you, believe in yourself. Um, definitely let go of the past drama. The past uh, regrets, the past failure, the past 
whether somebody did something to you or you did something to somebody, uh, this is letting go. Don't let go of it. Um, that's going to stop you from being this emperor. And so perhaps with the emperor being here, it is a good sign. It's a sign that destiny is taking you where you need to be. Um, I do feel like this is, uh, and the three of wands is interesting for me because it is about manifesting. It could say that there's a time of, a, a period of waiting. Um, but I feel with this reading, what it's telling me, it's almost like you got to turn your back. You got to turn your back to move forward, um, to become stabilized and become that emperor that you want. Um, what is the emperor, please? The emperor. And perhaps the emperor is holding on too tight to, um, you know, fearing losing money or not having enough or uh, the fear of letting go of the past, you know, or maybe this is a person who has done a lot of wrong to you. And the delay here is that they don't turn their back from what they've done to you. Um, I think that if that's the case, they have to come out and speak it. They have to give the message. Okay. They have to offer some new, new slate. Okay. I see this one, the Queen of Cups, and then this one as well, the Sun. So you got to heal something. Uh, whether this is you or your person, it's like you got to heal something here. Um, I do feel with the Queen of Cups, that is the truth, the true love. Okay. Um, Ten of Wands. Why the Ten of Wands? Mm, Ten of Wands. What is the Ten of Wands? It, it's something, it's almost like Ten of Wands. It's like it's so heavy on your chest, you got to get it out. Okay, it, it is a 10. That means maybe these things that they're holding on to, they're going to end. You're going to end it or they're going to end it. You know, it could be vice versa. Uh, what is the sun? What's the sun? Uh, yeah, offering that love, you see. And the queen of cups. What's the queen of cups? Queen of cups. The hierophant. A new commitment togetherness knowing having knowledge that this is your true love uh this is also where you follow your intuition uh you have this knowing there's a knowing that maybe you mask through fear and um you know maybe regret um and maybe not forgiving yourself so maybe this is for your twin they need to forget forgive themselves of the things they've done to you um i feel like they've might have put a lot of burden on you or they feel they did okay um yeah very interesting so there's a lot with this card going on that you have to have faith in yourself and and let go of those those heavy dark moments that have happened because they happened so long ago why live in the past you got to live in the future and stop the delay there okay <coughs> excuse me I do want to see what the Three of Wands means because there's something waiting to come in with that Three of Wands. Is it this this Page of Cups, this sort of message of love and emotional get together or something like that? Okay, let's see what it is. Oh, I'm just curious because it, it is a card about waiting for those dreams to come true and those manifestations to come true. What is the Three of Wands? The Three of Wands right here, please. The Three of Wands. What is the Three of Wands? Ah, oh, look at that. The Four of Wands. And it proceeds. So be patient. This is a new commitment. This is a new partnership. This is the right partnership. It's not a negative one. It's a, it's a good one. I mean, look at all the good cards. The Sun, the Page of Cups, the, the Queen of Cups. Looking on to the, the Knight of Pentacles. I mean, sorry, the king of pentacles um you got the lovers you got the ace of ace of pentacles i mean this is definitely um perhaps with the hierophant as well and the four of wands like a holy union you know um, um twin flame union union sorry i'm telling you i can't talk today it's weird okay what is the honoring cycles yeah let go of that let go of it there's so much to let go of and they did pop out but there's one more word. let's see I do feel like they're supposed to. So let's see. You got the chariot. Um, yeah, learning your lessons, you know, very much with the two of pentacles, the good, the bad. Do I hold on to the good? Do I hold on to the bad? Okay. Um, the chariot is really this person that becomes a, a driver of their own vehicle, their own, their own body and takes charge. There's motion there. There's action. Um, nine of swords two of 
And then you get that sticky energy again right there with the, the Nine of Swords, the Seven of Swords. It's like you're holding yourself back. It's very much like believe in yourself. Whoever this is, believe in yourself. Move forward. Go ahead and plan the future. Uh, what things were in the past, you can recreate them to be positive, okay? Because right here I see somebody who's creating great things. And then they get stuck in their head and think, oh, that could never be. But my gosh, it could be. With the moon um, changing things and allowing you to to create knowledge within you. Uh, the knowledge being that you have a knowing that everything's going to be okay. Um, and giving you that new opportunity. But the thing that delays you with the two of wands right here and the nine of swords with with the seven of swords, it's almost as if your worry hinders it, you know? It, it doesn't allow it to go forward. Um, and so the seven of swords is tricky. Either you've done a lot of trickery to your person or your person has done a lot of trickery to you. And there's a sense of being ashamed and it's very hard to say I'm sorry. Um, because I think that that ties in with them being um, apologetic to themselves, okay? What is the seven of swords? Seven of swords yeah it's it's you can't keep living in the past okay whoever this is it's 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 almost this kind of thing that i visualize it's someone who wants to get younger instead of older like you you just can't do that you have to sort of just go with the flow and what i mean by that it's because they get younger or go back in time it's like they can er erase these these things with the seven of swords and the nine of swords energy if that makes sense like Almost like by going, by living in the past, they keep thinking that they can rewrite the past, but they have it opposite because they can rewrite the past by going in the future and rewriting it into a good, creating something good. I hope that makes sense. Uh, the King of Cups. So, see, having self love. I'm clarifying the Seven of Swords. So, uh, it's almost like coming out of those things, having enough self love to apologize to yourself. For the things that you have done to others or things that maybe have happened to you rise above it really follow that intuition with the moon i also saw this sense of it's giving you the opportunity to have this knowing feeling that you're going to be okay so there's changes going on here the delay here is that maybe they just don't know how to get rid of all this junk that's still left that's lingering from the past nine of swords nine of swords please nine of swords worried um stressed out oh worried about a divorce worried about ending something so that you can get the new um this is karmic justice here this is something that is going to happen the end's going to happen whether you whether you want it or not but the thing about it is that it's going to be better afterwards okay whatever it is whether it is a divorce whether it's just ending that karmic cycle it will get better okay um so maybe there is someone who's going to go through a divorce here okay and temperance so be patient be patient don't be too hard on yourself um you know little by little every day is little by little and you're getting more balanced it's a card about getting balanced you started off with unbalanced here with the two of two of pentacles and the temperance is saying you you know it's okay you're supposed to be going through all this don't beat up on yourself you are creating balance maybe even though you don't see it um, <clears throat> I want to know, how does the story end for today? How does the story end for today, please? Okay, so the hangman in reverse. So maybe you've been enlightened. Maybe this is time for you to move. And then, um, oh, I picked up my cards wrong. Sorry, guys. So I do feel you've been enlightened. I do feel like um, it's time to maybe get off of that place of maybe being in a separation or maybe in a place of just not knowing which way to go. You got the emperor again. Um, I do feel like this is stability and this is a new beginning for your emperor, okay? Um, beautiful, okay, and then this one. So standing up, fighting for what they believe or what they want. Uh, and that's going to give the new beginning. I do feel they have this sense of knowledge, which is spirit. Which is spirit, guys. So the five of pentacles and the four of swords. Things that you lost are being regenerated. So rest continue to manifest it continue to believe in yourself um you will have some kind of peace some kind of truce is going to happen for you here okay and so let's see here 
what can you tell me about this karmic cycle here, please? This karmic cycle, how will it end? The karmic cycle, please. Karmic cycle. Okay, so love, unconditional love, self-love, oneness, passion. And, and that's where this person has to get to. They have to love themselves to be able to give it to you. Separation, I definitely felt that. Um, sadness, missing you, thinking about you, yearning. Um, so beautiful. I, I think that that is the knowledge of spirit telling them, hey, this is where your soul needs to go. So wake up, wake up and do it. And there's that phoenix, remember? You're, some, something's, something that you just thought was dead. You know, not literally dead, but just you had no chance of, of doing it again. It's coming back with that phoenix, okay? So just keep that in mind. Be patient. Be patient in the in the process. It might be going slow, and I think I think that that's what it is. It's going slow. I was gonna say, what is your message? So awareness. Be aware. Um, you know, that could be with dreams. That could be with just little small things. Um, also intuition don't don't frown on your intuition meaning um those ideas that come to you they're they're spirit talking to you so dreaming in the in the dream state pay attention to your dreams is pretty much what they're saying right there okay maybe you're dreaming of each other and, and you're sleeping you don't even know it or maybe you do know it um <clears throat> okay what is this little lotus message today What's the little lotus message for this reading, please? What is the lotus message? Okay, so you have, and it's really pretty, look at that. Um, let's see. My relationships are filled with harmony and joy. I am appreciated and loved. And this is the affirmation. Okay, so yeah, just know that you are appreciated and loved. And let's see, what is, okay, what is the angel message for today? What's the angel message for today for this reading, please? What's the angel message? Compromise and take action, definitely. Um, and there's that, that, those scales, so something needs to happen. Um, no need to worry. Romance and trust and big happy changes so I, I just hold on to that if that's what you're trying to manifest hold on to it don't let anybody else steer you in the wrong way okay uh, so let's see what is the insight for today what's the insight for today please the insight for today okay I want to take this one because it's the first one that fell out okay simplify your reality shed the clutter in the mind and the clutter all around you will give yourself the chance to focus in on what matters without all the distractions around you and within you. And this is the perfect time to do it. The second day of New Year's. Um, you know what I did for New Year's Eve, guys? And this is weird because I never do this. I'm usually out in the town partying up with the girlfriends, having a good time, celebrating the New Year. But what I did was I cleaned my whole house. I saged it and I blessed it. And I said I got rid of all the clutter. I got rid of all the junk. Okay. And maybe that's something.